Hey guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to the Chaos Vibration, a channel dedicated towards the practice of chaos magic, manifestation, spirituality, and philosophy. My name is Damian James, self-transformation shaman, chaos magician. So today's video, I want to do suggested chaos magic reading, more specifically, suggested chaos magic reading for new age or law of attraction practitioners that may have curiosities about chaos magic to either just see what it's about, what it has to offer, or maybe even start taking some of it and start integrating it to their practices, or maybe even shifting into a chaos magic approach to manifestation or magic. The other reason I want to do this now is because there is an Amazon book sale the 13th and 14th of October, I've been told. No, I am not an affiliate marketer, but I do believe in people expanding with everything going on in the world and doing so in a financially conscious manner with all the pandemic nonsense and let's just leave that at that. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. And the other thing I want to say is this, this order I'm sharing is what I wish I could have told my past self to save myself a lot of time of confusion, potential frustration, and wanting to bang my head against the wall while I figured chaos magic out all by myself. I believe this list would have made the expansion and the growth much more optimal and accessible to me. There's a lot I want to cover in this video today, so let's get right into it. The first book that I recommend anybody check out is the book Condensed Chaos by Phil Hine. Yes, I know, it's a book that needs no introduction on this channel, and it's a book that is arguably the holy grail of chaos magic content. Its biggest competitor would be the book Psychonaut. All I'm going to say about Psychonaut is it is a fantastic book, but I do not advise it for a new ager for a laundry list of reasons, which will be its own matter. But anyway, back to the point. Here is why I recommend Condensed Chaos first. It is all about the revelation and the, let's just say, personality shift or perception shift that will naturally occur when one checks this, checks this book out. People that are veterans of this channel, thank you by the way, may have remembered earlier on when I came to the self-revelation that the modern law of attraction is essentially a chaos magic practice. If not that, they certainly have a brother-sister kind of cousin relationship here. When people check this book out, I believe that that revelation will become very clear to them. And what I mean more specifically is that they're essentially already practicing chaos magic or using elements of chaos magic unconsciously. Therefore, this book will allow them to become more conscious of that, either learn chaos magic or add some to their practice with clarity and intention, which will obviously make the ability to capitalize on the chaos magic angles much easier and much more efficient. Now, beyond that, this book has a lot of features that I like. The first thing is this book is a great way to see everything chaos magic potentially has to offer. Sigil magic, servitor creation, invocation. There are paths he shows you to learn traditional occult and esoteric theory, which is certainly advantageous. But if you are also into stuff like the Modern Mythos Magic miniseries on this channel, you will see where I got a lot of inspiration for those ideas and you can do the same. Magic can be about daggers and robes and chaos magic. It can just as easily be cast. This is from Phil Hine, not me. Using silly putty, using art, writing along those lines. And that's also a good idea to get a feel for how The Secret may have come up with ideas like the vision board, using affirmations, so on and so forth. You could suggest Phil Hine and Chaos Magician may have actually anticipated the 21st century New Age movement. But beyond that, this book is also very accessible. It's written in, let's just say normal speak. There's not a whole bunch of lofty esoteric statements that leave you scratching your head. He breaks it down. It's clearly written by a human being with a sense of humor. It's pretty grounded and it's relatively to the point. 
He will give you the core philosophy of chaos magic. Nothing is true, all things are permitted, and the importance of the six principles. Very, very straightforward, but still left with a certain degree of openness where it's really up for you to decide how you are going to honor and integrate each principle into your life. He also speaks about the honor of magic and chaos magic, how to follow up, and reminds us that we don't use magic to retreat from reality or fill our head with airy-fairy, fluffy, unicorn 5D reality transurfing nonsense, and we do it to face ourselves and come out to the world to grow. There is also a whole lot of exercises to really get in touch with yourself. In other words, know thyself that a lot of magic books generally do not have. And of course, there are some traditional exercises, some spirits you can look up and try out, and things along those lines that may be new to someone who is coming from the law of attraction paradigms. Now, in the spirit of chaos magic, nothing is absolute, and as much as I love Phil Hines' work, I think it's super inspirational and truly a great introduction to the world and practice of chaos magic. It certainly has opportunities. And while it's a superior book to The Secret, for analogy's sake, I think it's best to put it this way. When I read Condensed Chaos, it was like reading the new version of The Secret for grown-ups. I was like, wow, this is really cool. This is so much to offer. And magic's pretty much up for me to decide how it works. Okay. Then three weeks go by and you're like, okay, well, I'm clearly not just making things up. How the hell does this work? Can I reverse engineer some of his ideas? Is there some kind of workbook that I can use to help me get a feel for things and learn how to break things down? Is there some formula for magic? And there certainly is. And the book that I recommend people check out to augment Phil Hines' work, ground it, make it practical and pragmatic, is the book The Master Works of Chaos Magic by Adam Blackthrone from the publishing company The Gallery of Magic. And this book may not be very well known. So here's what I want to say about this book. First off, if you get it, it's very easy to take their work or any gallery of magic work for granted based on the size. This book's only about 95 pages. However, here's why, why that is so special. The book wastes no time on theory, principles, or any of that. And it really is a manifestation of another angle of chaos magic. Cut the bullshit. Yes, you could say this book is the cut the bullshit book to the practice of magic that was all about cutting the bullshit. It's very direct. It simply is great for people that want to try more magic and have all kind of emotional or intellectual hang-ups. It's the best book to get you off your ass and accepting that the only way to get a result or learn magic or figure any of this out is by doing it. This book is great for people that want to do things like maybe make a servitor, or as Adam Blackthorne is going to call the thought form, and would like a step-by-step -step process to know what needs to be done, but it still is left in a way where he's not going to tell you exactly what to do or what to think. It is really up for you to decide how you're going to fill in those steps with practices and techniques you already know that resonate strictly with you. There's also some even more simplistic, straightforward ways to make a sigil with auto writing. There are ways you can create magical effigies that are very accessible and he impresses you don't need a lot of herbs or crystals, how to carry out simple candle magic. There is introductions to gesture magic in there. And some of the things I love are there's some chapters on how to take magic out of your room or your office or away from your altar and into the real world. I'm talking about how to make a sigil, put it on a document to try and change somebody's mind, how to make yourself more attractive on the spot, things along those lines with relative ease and he impresses it's all about intention and emotion, not vibration, not how many times you've read the Cabillion. And I'm not saying we shouldn't do these things, but that is not what magic 
or chaos magic is about. Now at this point, you have seen the whole world of chaos magic through Phil Hines' amazing inspirational work. Adam Blackthorne has grounded this work. He's made it practical. We have some step-by-step -step exercises, some workbook approaches to try out the different, let's say, techniques within a chaos magic quote-unquote system. However, one thing that chaos magic impresses, and you're going to learn about in condensed chaos, is the value of diverse approaches, which means not getting emotionally, or in any sense of the word, hung up on certain systems or techniques being better than others, and being open to new ways magic or spiritual work could manifest itself. The book I recommend for this is Hands-On Chaos Magic by Andre Vatimis. Yes, I know I've spoken about this book a lot on this channel. And side note, guys, if you enjoy this, the content on this channel, thank you first off. But I'm also sharing this because most of my magical experiments, the things I share, the revelations I come to, have come from these three books alone. But let's get back to the point. Hands-On Chaos Magic, I don't really know any other way to say it would be it's just a great tool book for a chaos magician. Allow me to elaborate. This book is essentially a book of techniques and exercises one can try out as well as more ritual frameworks. So for example, if you're looking for a deconditioning tool, there is a section on the book on just deconditioning. There's a section on the book of just sigil creation, different ways to go about that. There are passages and sections about several different ways to activate a sigil. Yes, believe it or not, there are more things you could do than just mash letters together, make a scribble scrabbly looking thing, and just to put it bluntly, jerk off to it. I guess that's part of the journey, but I found it got old pretty friggin' fast. But if you feel like you're in that spot, Hands on Chaos Magic is certainly a great book for you. Other good things about this book is there's also technical exercises and techniques you can try out that actually branch out into other systems or modalities of magic. For example, if you are into energy manipulation, there are sections and exercises upon exercises of energy ball manipulation games, how to work with that focus, how to work with that angle of the practice. If you are into solely sigil magic, he'll not only show you once again, different ways to make sigils or enchant them, but also different ways you can use sigils. You can use them to scry, you can use them for invocation, evocation, things along those lines. People that are into evocation or invocation path workings, there's also sections and exercises for that. Because chaos magic is so finding what works for you, it is a blessing and a curse, but I find that this book is a great ground and a place to return to so you don't feel like you're just making things up blindly and you should have a good feel at this point of what techniques will and will not resonate with you off the bat, which takes care of this book's one opportunity. It's massive sheer length by itself. Now, in retrospect, let's assume that this, these books, which very well could be your first year of Chaos Magic study, or at least for six months, you spend some time learning about yourself and the practice of Chaos Magic in an accessible fashion with Condensed Chaos. You then learned how to break it down, make it very direct and accessible with Adam Black from his Master Chaos Magic book. And then you had Andre Vatimis' book to essentially find the techniques and the exercises that work for you. And by now you should have a good feel on how to build your own rituals, or for some of you even, I believe, your own authentic manifestation or magic systems for solely you, or maybe to share with the world and bring more expansion to everything going on. That's ultimately your choice, but this is what Chaos Magic has to offer. Of course, the journey does not stop there. And once again, magic is about aligning to and actualizing your true will. And one of the best ways to do that is now find a life that allows you to either build a career with magic or some kind of lifestyle in the everyday social world that certainly allows you to capitalize on your magic as you go. And there is certainly a book I recommend for this. 
The fourth book and the final book on this list, probably for your first year of Chaos Magic, is Chaos Protocols by Gordon White. And some people give this book a bad rap because of a lot of page space spent on socio-economic information. And I know a lot of people just want to hear more woo-woo stuff, but I'm really going to focus more on the importance of how to build a strong social foundation for yourself and those that are dear to you, whether it be family, friends, a business, a career, or that special soulmate you manifested with the other guys, and how to go about that. Things like networking are perfectly interwoven with techniques like sigil shoaling, which long and short is how to make a sigil magic system and get the whole thing to work by making a single sigil that produces one result. Therefore, it now works for all of them. I suppose a new thought analogy would be that this book is essentially the think and grow rich of chaos magician. For people that are wondering what woo-woo stuff it has to offer, it does have its own grimoire at the end, its own set of exercises, and a, a whole lot about navigating your own self-initiation process. That was one of the features of the book that resonated with me. What to consider, what not to consider, what to do on your own, when to seek counsel or advice from an experienced practitioner, and how to go about that. But all in all, now that we've learned about Chaos Magic once again and leveled up as a Chaos Magician, we obviously didn't learn this to sit in our room and play Merlin with tarot cards, did we? We learned about this to become the best version of ourselves and actualize it in physical form and the outer world, and this book is certainly the most favorable for doing that. In conclusion, all I'm going to say is... Once again, I think this could be your first year of practice and study, and I want people to know that I still come back to these books. A lot of things Phil Hines say will seem cool but very foreign, and you can work through these a couple times, come to new revelations, try new things, and always stay dynamic with your craft. One of the meanings of chaos is not anarchy or destruction, but that nothingness, that nothing is true, all things are permitted, allows for raw, unapologetic, authentic, creative expression of both the magical self and your true self. But that does conclude this video. The only other thing I want to say is if you have requests on other Chaos Magic book reviews, please drop a comment below. I may be adding these to this channel at some point in time. If not, I wish you guys the best of luck with the book sales should you capitalize on it or with the holidays coming, and most importantly, with your study, your expansion, and your achievements. I'm off. I'll see you guys in the next couple of weeks. Eudaimonia.